probably somewhere between 85 and 90 percent of the people that are committed to the facility are here for either a directly related uh, drug offense or indirectly shoplifting, burglary. And now, thanks to a partnership with the John Brooks Recovery Center, the Atlantic County Justice Facility is hoping to help those inmates with this fan. It is serving as a fully equipped mobile outpatient treatment center, bringing help directly to those who need it. We have a pilot program right now. Um, we'll be, uh, we're permitted to um, dose up to 50 inmates. And what we're doing is targeting uh, pregnant women uh, be for obvious reasons for the health of the child. Um, high recidivist, which is anybody who's been here three times in a year. Five days a week, the van comes to the facility to give out those doses. We're very excited that we're going to see a lot of uh, improvement. You know, that's part of the main goal here is to um, help people learn to get back on their feet. And for the warden, this cause was something that hit close to home. I tell everybody, I have a son who has heroin addiction and like everyone else I thought methadone would be the worst thing in the world for him and we tried everything else and nothing worked and then we tried methadone. Her son has since been in recovery for 13 years. What's great for me is to see now that maybe somebody else I can help get there. In just its third week, the warden has already seen the program make a difference. Not only were they withdraw, you know, getting ready to withdraw, but they also had the other issues, uh, mental health related, which is not uncommon for people who have addiction problems. And by the second day, she was, it would be like you talking to me. The warden is hoping the program can continue once the six month pilot is over to help inmates create a better future both in and out of the facility. I'm Kimberly Carr for SNJ Today.